Hello, America. It's Eddie Murphy once again. You know, they got so many different disguises. People be looking at me. They think I'm Black Michael Jackson. They think I'm Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I'm just doing very fat today. You know what I'm saying? But you, you know I can also talk like Chris Tucker. That's right. I can talk like Chris Tucker. See, you didn't even know this brother could come out in a different disguise. I was Shrek in one movie. I was Eddie Murphy coming to a Black America. You know what I'm saying? Black America, not White America. Black America. You know what I'm saying? Probably be a Black African American. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have myself some African food. I feel like oh, Sophia in London, man. You know, a little fake, fake scoff now. I can't even get this thing to work right. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, uh, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and talk like uh, Chris Tucker and make people laugh. Before I start off with a Chris Tucker joke, let me tell you something. It was one time I was just minding my own business and I met this guy named Richard. This is Richard right here. You know, I'm just in a different body right now. I'm talking like a different person. But I met this guy named Richard. I was walking outside. He said, you can talk like me. I said, go ahead and talk like me. So he said, let me introduce myself. My name is Richard. Yes, my name is Richard. That's right. I can't even fix my voice. I'm going to try to talk like Richard. My name's Richard. How you doing? So, he told me his name was Richard. I said, well, can you talk like Eddie Murphy? He said, yes. I said, talk like Eddie Murphy. Hey, my name's Eddie Murphy. I said, no, my name's Eddie Murphy. He said, hey, Eddie, my name's Eddie Murphy. No, my name's Eddie Murphy. You don't even look like me. You're not even black. You look like a, a, a pale dark candlestick. You know what I'm saying? He said, no, I'm Eddie Murphy. I can talk like Eddie Murphy. I said, no, you're not Eddie Murphy. I'm Eddie Murphy. And he said, no, no, no. He said, I know what you know, what I don't know, so therefore I know what you're about to say, but what I don't say is what you don't know, so therefore I know what you're about to say, what you don't know, what you need to know, what you need to know is that I know what I know and you don't know what you know, so therefore you need to leave me alone so that way I can be like Eddie Murphy. So I said, okay. I said, you do your own thing. Next thing you know, the brother said, you can talk like me. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and talk like Chris Tucker, and now I'm going to talk like Eddie Murphy. Hold on. What's up, Eddie? How you doing, man? You know what, man? I was just walking down the street the other day, minding my own business, man. And I tell you, man, it is crazy, man. You know how you be outside, minding your own business, and you see a postal man outside going through your mailbox, and you gotta look at him with this opposite evil eye because you don't know what he's about to do to your mailbox? He could put something in your mail, and it could be a, a notice for your house. Lord, help those people because you don't know how they do sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I ain't never had that kind of problem before. I've been minding my own business ever since. I got my own post office and my own little P.O. box and stuff like that. Man, what you know about a P.O. box? You ain't got a P.O. box, man. You don't know nothing about what I do, man. I got myself a P.O. box. I got myself a mailing address. What you got? I got myself an email address. I got myself a Facebook. I got myself a Twitter. And I got myself a, what you call that thing? Skype. That's that's right, Skype. That Your mail don't come through that. You know that, right? That's just an email. We're talking about postal stuff. We're talking about stuff that you get to open up out of a box and stuff. Where's your common sense? Man, I got plenty of common sense. I got five senses. I'm not going to name none of them for you because I know what you're going to say. Well, you thought that a steakhouse served fried rice when you went to go ask them for some filet mignon. You know what I'm saying? Filet mignon is a steak, man. You don't ask a steakhouse for some Chinese food and some fried rice. They don't got that stuff there. There ain't no General So. It's General Toso, fool. General Toso. When you want to say General Toso Chicken, you say General Toso. It's General So. Toso. So. Toso. So. Toso. It's not time to make a rap music, uh, Chris. It ain't time for you to sit down there and try to disrespect Eddie Murphy. And you need to hush up with your low voice. You want to talk about people, Eddie? You, you, you really want to sit down there and try to talk about people, boy? Let me tell you something. Man, your feet are so ugly that they go left each time you try to go straight. When you go right... <laughs> they are so ugly that man, you got some flat blenders, man. You want me to take a? You, sure want me, you want me to show people your feet on the national America TV, man? We about to go on YouTube, man. You know you don't want me to do that, man. I will expose you to YouTube. All right, Eddie, go ahead, expose me to YouTube, man. You you want to go to on that? I would tell them that you got two left feet, boy. You don't want to do that. When you try to go right, they go left. When you try to go left, they go right, man. It's just crazy. You don't even know which way you want to go. You can't even decide which way you want to go, man. You're trying to go left, you're trying to go right. You have somebody telling you, go left. Richard, go left. You go right. And they tell you, go right, you go left, man. What's wrong with you, man? Get your mind together, man. Get your mind together. You need some Jesus in your life, man. You know, you need some Jesus in your life, man. I'm telling you, man, you need some Jesus, man. Man, I have me some Jesus in my life, and I can walk straight. Mm hmm. There's one time my knees were so messed up, and my, my two left feet were going right, and you know, it was just crazy. People told me, go right and went left. It was crazy, man. See, you don't even know your left from your right. That's bad, man. Cause you know, you know, you can have some problems like that. You know, you get even get a girlfriend like that, man. She try to tell you, put your right foot on the brake pedal. You put your left foot on the brake pedal, and then you stop your right foot with the gas pedal, man. What's wrong with you, man? You can't be doing that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Now I don't want to know what you're saying, but man, I do not have two left feet. Well, don't play with me. You got two left feet. You know you got two left feet. You know what's wrong with your feet. You know your mama was wrong for having you to having two left feet. 
That's why you love her. You know, you see a girl see your feet, she's like, oh, I don't want to talk to her because you got two left feet. It's crazy, man. I had that kind of problem before, but that's all right. You, you, you get yourself an ugly girl, she got two left feet, you be all right. Hey, what's that bodybuilding woman's name that you like? Can we not talk about that, man? I, I don't have no bodybuilding girlfriend. What you mean you don't have no bodybuilding girlfriend? What's her name? Cece? I put her whole entire name out there on the internet, boy. You keep on playing with me. But you know what? Go ahead. Talk about my woman. That's why you ain't got no woman. If I should say, the last time you had a woman, they said you were messing with a transvestite. That's right. A trans. A brother that looked like a woman. That's nasty right there, Eddie. And don't you make me expose you, Eddie, because I will, boy. I got a black belt and whooping your behind, boy. And I will do it again. Don't make me call Jaden Smith. Don't make me embarrass you, man. I know how to embarrass a brother. You know what I'm saying? Will Smith ain't got nothing on Chris Tucker. Will Smith ain't got nothing on Eddie Murphy. See, I was in Beverly Hills, cop. Man, you talking about something that happened in 1984, man. Well, this is 2011, man. Come on, man. Just, you mean 2012? Look, man, I don't warn you. Don't correct me when I'm talking. This is 2011. It's 2012. 2011 was last year, boy. Now get your facts straight. I was in Beverly Hills, cop, minding my own business. And I popped the brother in his chest. He's trying to disrespect me. You want that to happen to you? Huh? Huh? You want that to happen to you? Look, man. I'm going to go eat me some Chinese food. And you sit down and you think about what you're about to say. I sorry. My next impersonation comes from coming to America where I see your halls. Talks about being a pastor and being a preacher. It's just so funny how the way the brother talk. So if you excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and talk like this brother being a preacher. There's one time, I went inside the church, and I said, mm, that there's a God from on high. Mm. Somebody always thank the Lord for all the things that he's blessed me with. Mm. These fine contestants, mm. it's just so wonderful. Lord is so good. Mm. I can't stop saying good. Because mm. when I go to Golden Corral, mm, mm, mm. I just want to eat. Mm, mm. So just give me your offer of money. Mm, 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 mm. And just put it in my hands. Mm, mm, mm. Just thank the Lord mm. for the $25.50. Mm. Because when it gets inside of your head, mm. there's a God from on high. Mm. Touch your neighbor and say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. God is so good. That's why all of y'all ain't got no money because I'm rich. <laughs> well, I have to sit down and say acting is something that I like to do. It's fun. It's cool. And yes, yes, America, you're looking at the next Eddie Murphy. How you doing? You looking at the next Chris Tucker? Man, what's them Chinese food, man? What's the Chinese food? Step aside, Tyler Perry. That's right, Tyler Perry. See, Eddie Murphy don't say Tyler because he don't want to be embarrass you, you know what I'm saying? He want to say Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. Man, that brother got some, some, some stupid lip gloss, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen a brother dress up as a woman and then try to dress up as a fat mouth, no good black woman that don't know how to talk and then go on TV Get dentures that fall out of your mouth. I better stop so you don't come after me. Anyways, you'll have a good one, man. It's just been so lovely being on the TV today. You know, have you heard of Dave Chappelle? Let me tell you something. I was in one movie, man. Let me tell you something, man. That brother had some 10 feet gums, man. You know what I'm saying? His gums were so big, it looked like his mom and him had an affair with Mr. Ed, man. And they just had him. It was just crazy, man. I'm sorry, man. You have, sometimes you got to say some things. You know what I'm saying? You got to get it off your chest. You got to get it off your back. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Forgive me for saying that, but I had to say that. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I still love the Dave Chappelle, man, because that teeth is just pretty high, you know what I'm saying? 10 feet high. But anyways, if you ever meet a woman that's very good looking, do not show her your two left feet. I advise you, I got some ugly feet. I call them bunions, man, because when you see a bunion, you think it look like an onion. 
It stink, it's nasty, it don't look right. You got calluses coming out of the top the part of your toe. You don't even know what to do. You put some Vaseline, don't even dry that thing up. It is dried up, making it more even soggy and so far. It's so nasty, you got to go get some grease. And if you got some grease and your elbows are ashy, you put the grease on your elbows. The thing will only last for like two days. And you're actually getting this, get, get bigger and more so. It's just so nasty. And then you go to the kitchen, you start frying stuff. And then when you frying stuff, you feel the grease just melting off your skin into the ashtray. It's just so nasty. But let me tell you something. You got two left feet. You put some lotion on it, you put some heavy lotion. Be like Heavy D. Rest in peace, sir. Sorry about that. But anyways, be like Heavy D. Put some heavy lotion on you and put it on your knees. That way when people ask you, you run track? Just say, yeah, I run track. Yeah, I got some heavy lotion on me. You see that? It's so ashy. You don't see it? Huh? You, you, you don't see it no more when you put some lotion on that. You know what I'm saying? Just be like this, you know. Be doing a little Dougie with the lotion, you know what I'm saying? Put the lotion on your knees and be like this. Teach me how to lotion. Teach me, teach me how to lotion. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing fat today. Mm -hmm. Anyways, whatever you do. Don't show a lady your two ugly feet. Now, I tell you something. I, I showed a lady my ugly feet one time, and I got embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? I went to this hotel, and they had a swimming pool. And I jumped inside the water, and I came out the water, and the lady said, Look at his two dolphin feet. He got two flippers. <laughs> and I said, Two flippers? What you trying to tell you? She said, You got two left feet that turn right. Yeah, I got two left feet that turn right. You got a problem with that? She said, No, I just don't date men that got two left feet. That's the first thing a woman notices about a brother. Why do you think I wear shoes in the summertime? And why do you think I wear sandals when it's cold outside sometimes? Because I don't want them to see my feet. And just in case if I do wear sandals, I put some, some socks on to cover up my feet, man. You know what I'm saying? You put some socks on and the thing cover up your feet. Cover up all them bunions and little little big big bun that's out there on the side of your foot. It look like a the size of a ping pong and a golf ball. You know what I'm saying? And you can't look at that because when a girl look at that, she's like, ugh. He got some chicken feet. Again, don't show a woman your two left feet. Just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Goodbye. And this is Richard saying goodbye. <laughs>